Now that we have Visual Studio on our computer, we want to uh, see how we can write a simple C program. Um, what you need to do is uh, start Visual Studio and then click on File, New, Project. And then from the list of the projects, in here we just have Visual Studio, so there's not much to choose. But if you're working on it in school or if you chose more uh, languages and templates to install, you may have several different things that you have to look for. But Visual Studio Windows Desktop is what we are going to use. And then Windows Desktop Wizard, when you are creating a new project for a simple C program, you've got to make sure that you don't uh, uh, have this check mark checked. You don't want a solution directory created. A solution is a collection of projects, which means you're writing a big application, you have five different projects that you want to have in your solution. You want to write a very simple application, so one project will suffice. Therefore, don't uh, have that one checked up. Select the directory in which you want to create uh, the program in so I'm gonna to go to IPC 144 and have it right over here select for folder and in here I'm gonna type demo so the name of the project will be demo it's a Windows desktop and Windows desktop wizard that's what we are going to use do not use Windows console application it has some complications that I, that I don't want to go through so uh, Windows desktop wizard and click on OK then make sure you uncheck everything and have only empty project selected click on OK and is uh, going to create the project for you. Now that the project is created, you're going to see many windows are open. You don't need any of these, so cl click close the properties, uh, close Team Explorer, you don't need these things. The only thing that you need is Solution Explorer. But if you, by mistake, close Solution Explorer, there's no problem, just click on View, and then Solution Explorer, or there's a shortcut key for it, Control Alt L. So Solution Explorer is open. Uh, we have a Server Explorer. All these windows that are open um, uh, well, may cause confusion, so I'm going to close everything and I'm just going to have Solution Explorer. And now, if you look at the demo over here, that's going to be the directory, a directory created uh, where you asked for. So if I right click on demo and click on open folder in file explorer you will see that in IPC 144 a directory is created called demo and inside demo you have all the files that you need now in the solution explorer you on in source files right click and add uh, a new item and over there make sure you select code C++ file and the file that you are creating because we are doing this for a C program make sure the name of the program let's call it my program.c um, and let's write it in this format my program.c uh, and that becomes the name of the file that you're going to write the program in I'm going to click add and now a file is open for me to uh, do my programming in it I'm just going to click over it and start doing the program and I'm going to write over here include standard input output stdio.h then int main void and in here I'm going to say printf uh, the demo program is working and I'm going to go to new line and return zero now to compile and run this program um, you can go to um, debug and start without debugging. Start without debugging, it means you don't want to debug, you don't want to go line by line, you just want it to compile and and run the program. Now we can press Control F5, so I'm going to press Control F5 and it's going to compile it. Make sure everything is okay. And the demo program is working. That's it. So it's going to say program ran like this and exit with code zero. This code zero exit with code zero is the zero you returned over here. So if I say over here return 10 and run it, 
you'll see it says uh, exited with code 10. Well, um, but we always put zero over here. We'll explain later on what that is for. So that's how to create a simple console application on uh, Visual Studio.